Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We appreciate you tuning in. Today I have an RV video for you. It's a little different than most of my RV videos though. Today I wanna to share with you a Class C motorhome that's for sale. My brother David, who you've seen in our ride, uh, motorcycle ride videos, he and his family are selling their Class C motorhome. And I wanna share this with you in case you might be looking for a pre-owned motorhome, Class C motorhome, or you might know someone who's looking for a Class C motorhome. So today I wanna to share with you this 2019 Sunseeker by Forest River Class C motorhome. It is uh, on the E450 chassis. It is a 3050 model, which means it's 32 feet long. You can get into those state parks, you can get into some national parks, and you can even park it in your driveway. So it's just, it's a smaller unit and a little easier to navigate and drive than uh, our big uh, Class A Tiffin motorhome. So let me show you some of the outside amenities and features, and then we're gonna take you inside to see what's on the inside, but first on the outside. So let me just share with you. Again, it's a, a, the E450 chassis, powered by the V10, Ford's V10. You do have the big uh, folding mirrors here, as you can see. Now, these mirrors do not have a camera. The side camera, turn signal activated, is actually here on the side of the coach, side of the uh, house. So that's a cool little feature. You also have an 18 foot power awning out here on this side. Up under the awning is where you have your outside TV. All right, outside TV there. Down below here is where we have a 9.8 gallon propane tank. So it is a propane and electric coach. All right, there's propane. Let me show you this right here. This is uh, one of the storage areas for the Class C. Again, these Class Cs typically, you know, they don't have the storage of a Class A uh, motor home, but they certainly have ample storage if this is the size you're looking for. Storage right there. Come on back with me. Of course, here's the door. We're going to show you that in just a minute. This is the back of the refrigerator. We'll show that in just a moment, but you can see this is the 3050 model uh, Sunseeker. Here's your hot water heater. Here is your furnace, which, you know, that's on the inside. And it is solar prepped, wired already. In case you do some boondocking, you can put some solar panels on the top. I want to show you this. This is some more storage area. You do have two 110 plug-ins here for any devices you might want to put out here, electric stoves or what have you. You do have the Firestone air ride on this one, so you can actually put air in the airbags back here to help you level out the ride and make it smoother. And depending on what kind of payload you might have, you can add or take away air inside the shocks or the airbags right there. I want to show you this storage. Boom, there's some more right there. Look at that, that's pretty nice. Behind this panel is your whole house water filtration system, so that's where you change that filter, right? This is a full pass-through storage. I really like this right here. Have a look at that. Plenty of, this is relatively deep right here. And again, it is a pass-through storage section. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Right here is your gravity fill for your fresh water tank, right? So you got a 55 gallon fresh water tank on this one. And uh, by the way, all the specs will be down below in the description of this video. So all the specs giving you everything you might want to know about this, including the, all the water capacities. And uh, this has a, the, the fresh water tank is 55 gallons. The black tank is 39 gallons and the gray tank is 39 gallons, but all that be down below. All right, come back to the rear of the coach. You can see it has a full ladder for access to your roof. Also has a rear backup camera here. See that, that's a nice feature on all of these, most of them at least. Nice rear window. You got a full bumper here. That is a 7,500 pound tow hitch. Coming around to this side, here's where you hook up your cable once you get to the RV site. And here is your power cord for your 30 amp power, shore power. So right there in the rear of the coach. Here is that second part of that pass-through storage that goes all the way through. Really nice. Right here is your wet bay for the coach. All right, have a look at this. Got an outside shower here. And then you've got your black tank, gray tank, uh, black tank and gray tank pull. 
uh, valves and you've got the black tank flush right here your city water connection here there's your sewer hose right there you got a nice place to put that pretty cool pretty cool this is where you put your gasoline of course it again it is gas not diesel gasoline fill here is another storage area that's pretty good size bit of storage right there that's nice really nice then I want to show you, this is where your garbage can is, right? From the inside, you got a, you got a compartment, we'll show you that. But here, this is where your garbage can is. Now, you don't have to put your garbage can there. You can put whatever you want there, but he keeps his storage, his garbage there. All right, let's get around here, let's get around here to some more storage. All right. Very nice. And here is the generator. So if you're out doing some boondocking or if you lose power at the RV site, you got a 4,000, an Onan 4,000 generator. Very cool. All right, so just so you know, this is a full body paint on this particular unit. Full body paint, as I've told you, it's a 2019. And I think we've covered pretty much everything on the outside. Let's take it to the inside and show you the amenities and features on the inside. So now we're on the inside of the Class C motorhome, and I want to show you this up here is where you actually do the driving, all right? This is your cockpit up here. And it's designed pretty much like you would think an E450 would be. Uh, nothing new or unique up there, but uh, that's where you drive it. Up here is also the overhead bed. You can sleep two grown, uh, grown adults up here. Um, I know because I flipped up here a couple times and it was a, it's a very good night's sleep. So it's plenty big for at least two uh, and several, <laughs> three or four kids. All right. Here is your 40 inch screen TV that's in the Class C here. And while we're talking about beds, this right here, actually the, the dinette table actually lets down to a bed. And you can sleep one adult here, if, you know, as long as they're not too tall, but you can sleep two children here with no problem. The sofa is also a bed it pulls out and you can sleep a couple of, of adults here uh, be kind of tight but certainly one adult and um, a couple kids here in the living room area of course you have the storage compartments as you can see here pretty decent storage there you have an area for your blu-ray player if you want to get one of those stereo you have over here some more storage compartments not to mention all the lights that are here, all your lights here, right? More storage, more lights. And we're coming back toward the, uh, let me stay right in this, this particular area right here. You got more storage here. And I want to show you this right here. This is how you work everything inside the coach. This is where you've got a, a driver's side rear light. So if you arrive at nighttime, you can actually turn on the outside light and get hooked up. Here's your slide out. This coach does have a full wall slide. Here's your electric uh, water heater, your gas. Here's your water pump, your Arctic pack if, you get, if you're camping in some cold temperatures. Here's your living room lights, kitchen lights, generator, how to turn that on. And here's where all of your tank levels are. So your gray tank, black tank, fresh. Check your battery and your, even your LP, how much fuel you have in that. Here's that little area as well. Hangs some coats. Some folks just like to hang little keys here. And down below right here, I just wanted to show you this very quickly. This is where you do your automatic leveling because this coach does have hydraulic leveling. So you don't have to get out and pump any jacks or anything. It just it levels just like a Class A does. Here's your battery disconnect. And um, so that's what this uh, uh, particular area is for here. Now, let me just show you this while you're there, Dave. Let me show you this. So this is a little extra counter space for your counter here in the kitchen. And here in the kitchen, you have a double sink. Right? You also have, remember that garbage can I showed you outside? This is where you put your trash in. There's your garbage can right there. That's pretty cool. Paper towel holder, more storage up here, of course, in your kitchen, just like you would imagine. While we're here also in the kitchen, I want you to see they have a convection microwave oven here. You have a three burner stove here with your gas oven underneath. All right, three burner stove, gas oven. Here is your Dometic refrigerator. It is electric or propane. When I say gas, that's what I mean by propane. Here's your refrigerator. And up here is a separate compartment for your freezer.
right? Here in the kitchen also is a pretty nice pantry. Look at that. That's, that's cool. I, I like that. Very nice. Lock that back. Here's the door, of course, that separates the main coach from the master bedroom. All right, let's come on into the bathroom area here. You see this is your sink for your bathroom right there. You've got medicine cabinets here for some more space here. Got two of those, the big one here. All right, got your light switch here, of course. More storage in these here, guys. All right. Now let me show you the shower and the, and the toilet. RV toilet and the RV shower. Now that shower, if you, you can stand in there if you're about 6'2 to 6'3. Anything above that, you may have to stoop a little bit, but decent, decent space in there, decent space. Now the master bedroom here, this is an RV queen bed. You got uh, some counter space on each side of the bed. Of course, you got your emergency exit here as well. And I want to show you these, man, these are some pretty nice closets here. You got two of them on each side and they're pretty deep. And I'll show you this one in just a moment. Here's some more storage here for whatever. This is a TV, of course, it pulls out and behind the TV is actually more storage. Let's close that back, all right. And then I want to show you this closet. Look how deep that closet is. This is exactly like the one right here. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, I know we're moving fast, but I want to get, get you guys through this RV. Here is the control sensor for your uh, air conditioning and your furnace. And the AC is also serves as a uh, heat pump, so you can keep that in mind. That's where you work all of that. All right, I think we got everything here. All right, that's going to do it. That's a quick look at the 2019 Sunseeker by Forest River that my brother and his family are trying to sell. I will tell you this. This has been a solid unit for him. He does have all the service records, of course, if you want to see that. By the way, his contact information will be down below. And his asking price right now is $84.99. But also, feel free to make an offer to him, all right? Contact information down below. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, shoot them to me. I'll make sure he gets them if I can't answer them. And again, the specs are down below. Appreciate you watching. Till next time, be well and stay safe.